I'll hand over to Enrique, and um, we'll look forward to hearing uh, his talk over the next 20 minutes or so. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Michael, for, for the introduction. And, uh, well, I'll start uh, with, the, with the presentation then. So, uh, as Michael has commented, I came by accident to, to the EIS, and we are trying to, to join bo both goals. Indeed, uh, in my company, we have separate sites, which are working for e-government uh, applications and EIS, and now we are bringing everything, trying to bring everything together, and we work worldwide. So, uh, let's go with the, with the presentation itself to say that this is a, a project that we have uh, developed to the project in the, sorry, it's okay, I think now. So uh, the, let's make a little bit recap. This application is an application made to produce maps in to, in a format that you can handle them, to print them, and uh, to have a PDF, which, uh, in a sense, may seem a step back, but I will try to, to convince you and to share our perspective and why it has been made, because it has been a win-win approach. So, in the very beginning, well, I'm doing a, a rough evolution of the spatial data and tools. You had, of course, the maps in papers, you know, they, they were drawn, they were they were produced uh, with uh, hard uh, applications to, to draw it, Adobe, uh, Photoshop, you know. And then geodatabases or spatial databases came, then we went to the web mapping, and uh, then the OGC standards uh, and services uh, appeared here, and that was a game changer when the when there was a stand there were standards. Then we could could all talk the the same language. So there was a boost on the on the use of EIS. I think we we all agree, and they were spread all over the organism and use it by, by everyone. Then it has continued evolving and evolving with vector styling, 3D, mobile apps, you know, all the stuff that we we already have and we already use. It, it doesn't, it's, it's not an exclusive, everything is useful and we are, that's um, the, evo the evolution of the, of the ES world. So, uh, now, uh, what we have, um, we have the technology, we have the means, and we have uh, tons of data. We have tons of data that we have to represent, make graphics, make 3D analysis, and, and so on. And uh, we have very useful maps. We have cool maps with uh, drawing in very, very different styles. We, if you have vector tiles, you can do really marvelous things with the labeling, with the putting things on top of each other. We have maps on demand. We have everything. But uh, the thing is, what if now we could think on, enhance, or in provide a uh, a different or a new approach uh, with all these technologies that we have uh, to provide you with the to provide users citizens people with uh, maps traditional maps understanding them as a map a chart that you you open and you can use physically uh, when you are going uh, on the field or or any place. Not only you, you can have it better in the mobile, you can zoom in, zoom out, but uh, people who, who like going in the field will know what, what we are referring to. So what if we could take advantage of the existing technology, uh, cloud optimized your tips, to provide a, a configured experience where you could choose a zone that you are going for a weekend or you are joining with friends and and doing some trails, or you can give a gift uh, to anyone you give a map, it's a gift sometimes, and use the official data that the, the Spanish mapping agency offers, providing you very, very detailed info 
um, in many cases info that is not uh, strictly available in the usual channels for the general people I mean it's not in Google if you are going to do the fields you, you will know what what happened and you can also upload your your own data okay what if we use these things together to make a very a very simple application but that can provide a very added value to to certain use cases very specific but very very added value so what if we could uh, close the circle and we started with uh, at the very beginning we have the maps the printed maps as usual but using all the evolution of the of the EIS, we could configure a simple application that you could use to produce your your map. So you could be provided with a customized map in a format the in digital format and also physically you could have a folded map in, in paper uh, with detailed cartography that you could use a professional and as I've commented before an event, a gift, a trip a weekend, uh, whatever you could, you could will use it, use it to to play with, and uh, with very detailed uh, cartography and official data from the Spanish mapping agency. So uh, we created a, a simple application to put. We had all the pieces uh, in the Spanish mapping agency. We have the the data. And we needed to put uh, all the pieces together in a in a single application. So here uh, we can extend in the questions a, a little bit more because I'm going very in the very in detail in the business case. But the technological part has some some nice things, as the cloud optimized GeoTIFF. Using GDAL, you can produce them and then move it to Mapfish as the rent the producer the render of the of the map to generate a, a pdf and uh, also you have uh, some background services for, with your server using wmts wfs and uh, you can also upload your your own data in shapefile format kml to draw it on on the map so finally you put all these pieces together with a let's say nice and easy to use front end remember that we are going to evolve a little bit the production of paper maps so it does not have to be uh, very very difficult for the user so we have made a simple application where you can put your mapping and then and then you you get the the result and you can order it so uh, finally you get the, the map everything all these pieces have been put together with a uh, React uh, application and using uh, a layer which is called API Scenic on top of open layers to to manage the to manage the map production. So uh, you can configure your map. You can choose your area of interest, uh, the scale of the map that you want to use, and make it personalized, and adding your own data. Uh, you can put there your tracks, you can put there uh, points of interest, whatever you have in shapefile and you want to make a trip and you want to put the several roads or the trail that you, you are going to, to follow. You can put it there and you have it in paper. So, and you choose the format and we will see the in the live demo so once you put everything together what you can what you can do is just uh, click next 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 you will see it's very very simple and then download it as a pdf distribute it uh, as you as you wish or you can order also a printed copy you can order it folder roll it waterproof uh, whatever so so let's see it in action as i've commented before the the main purpose of, of this has is not uh, actually the to to sell to sell maps but to offer you the possibility to give that step back you have all the all the information there you have uh, all the data official data nice maps you have the chance to to draw your own your own trails 
And if you want this old format, uh, let's say old fashioned format, and you want to use it, it's very very useful for, and it's useful for you. You can produce it, download it as PDF for free, and print it at home or at a professional service, or you can order it and you will get it uh, at home in a few times in a few days. So uh, let's go to the to show you the, the application in, in action. As you can see, it's uh, get your map customized. You can you have two ways to do it. You have the quick map, and you, as you can see, you can you can just focus it on whenever, wherever you you want it. Uh, you can you can move it, you, or you can type in and look for any for any place that you that you want to, and then uh, center on, on it. After that. Uh, you will see you can you can zoom in you can choose the the product that you're using the, the scale that you will get printed with okay and you will get a uh, which of them you are you are choosing in the format this is the the quick way to do it and uh, it's we have a uh, and then you you go next and you have it uh, ready this is well this is high resolution printing so it will take a little bit but uh, you can you can get the PDF or uh, you can order it okay if you get the PDF it will take a it will take a while but in the end you you will be able to download it and then well use it uh, as you as you wish then we have a, a different we have a a different uh, sorry a different uh, a different uh, interface for the for the users where we can uh, do a better let's say a bit, not a better but a more elaborated more elaborated map where you can put all the all the data that you are that you are going to to share it. if you see the the design of the page has changed a, a little bit there you you start typing the place that you want to focus want to focus in and once you are there you are able to upload it in kml shapefile json format whatever you have you can upload it and uh, you have it there for for your map you can put one trail or a couple of them or, or whatever okay and uh, then you can see you have it there but uh, well they are both blue let's see if we can we can change the style to adapt it to to our needs so we can put it dashes arrows and uh, different colors for for each of them for example let's Let's choose it as a red one, and uh, let's put the other as a, an orange or something. Yes, okay, better. And uh, then we we have our tracks there, but uh, then we can use it to play as I as I meant before. If we are going to for a weekend, we can we can put the the hotel or or any point of interest during the trail that we are doing to observe birds to well uh, drink water whatever we can we can also freely uh, draw on the map so once we configure we configure all all the items that we want in the that we want in the map that we are going to produce we can continue for example adding the, the squares or if we also want the coordinates and I have, as I have commented, the, the scale and the focus that we are that we are going to use in the in the production of the map. So uh, once we have this everything center and so on, then we can we can upload the we can we can edit the the title, the subtitle, the author if we want to. We can put different uh, backgrounds in the in the color 
and we can also change the image we have a lot of images there to choose but we will put uh, an image if we are going with our partner to to there and we want to, to make a, a trail there we can we can do so and upload some some specific uh, photo then you have a personalized map that this is the same interface uh, that before that you have already seen where we can generate the the pdf that it can take a, a little bit or order the the map there ready ready to go so uh, once we have it uh, we have the link which will be accessible for for seven days so you can share it with with someone and then we have also the we have also the file to be able to to open it and as well as you will see it's a heavy one it's about a uh, hundred and twenty something because you know it's very very detailed and but you can see that the resolution is really really high if we zoom in we see the, the detail that it's very very good if you want to to go on a trip and have it uh, as a support I uh, strongly recommend this. Uh, it's sure that we can do it with, you know, orgs, maps, or, or whatever applications that that you won't want to use with your mobile. But uh, maybe I'm too very old-fashioned, but but it's really it's really nice to to have the paper maps back uh, and using them. Okay, you can order it folder, folded or rolled, and with a kind of waterproof. Uh, waterproof treatment so you can you can then use it and it will be shipped to you and well enjoy it and uh, what well, this is it about the about the presentation so what i wanted to this is what i wanted to to share with you that is not a that is uh, reflecting on how we are using the, the whole technology, this all the stack of technology that we, we already have to give a to rethink on the production of, of maps and, and the use case that we can have to to use them. So thank you very much and um, Michael if you have any question from from the audience, please let me know. Th thank you very much, Enrique. Um, that was great. I really appreciate uh, your talk and um, you know a good explanation of the the relevancy of hard hard copy maps, even even in this digital world that we live in. Um, let me hop over to the questions. There are a couple questions in there. Um, first one. Um, is the map content adapted according to the map scale zoom? Do you use multi-scale data and or autom automated generalization processes? Uh, I've missed a little bit the background. Is uh, the, 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 the sound. You meant if the data that we are showing is uh, treated in advance, you know, if there is a generalization before, before this? Yeah. Yeah, it, basically, is there sort of automatic scale dependency um, in the cartography that's chosen that uh, there's the generalization at certain scales? Yes, uh, yes, 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 I see. They, they are, yes, they are already, the the data is producing certain scales in, a, in advance, uh, as we can see. Let me share it. Well, I do not have it, but uh, I can tell you that yes, at one, one, two. Let me get there because it's in the. Here you can choose the the scale of the map where you want to uh, that you want to use. Uh, there are different products produced at a, at a certain scale. For a certain resolution, and then you have the scale that you want to apply to to your map. So once you zoom in there, uh, you will see which will be the the scale, the actual scale that you will be applying, and you will see it uh, beforehand. 
and you can download it and see if it fits to to your need or if you want to to change to a, a different scale. Okay. Great. Um, Sorry. I have a a couple of people have asked um, if you could share your uh, the URL uh, to the to the demo site. Uh, well, yes, it's uh, it's public. Uh, how could I? Well, <laughs> you can um, see it here. If, if, uh, you put it, if you put it, yeah, if you put it in the um, in the in the chat window for Streamyard, I can move it into the. the okay, menu. so so let me check that I'm pasting something really useful. Yes, and then I will hand it over to you. Done. Okay. Can I? Yes, yeah, so you can, you can have a look at the at the at the website or you get inspired or use it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Um, and then uh, the last question, um, when printing on the fly, how fast is it comparing it to other solutions? When generating the PDF, well, actually, uh, we had, had not many choices. We did a, a workbench at the beginning of the project, but we had already used the Mapfish uh, printing, so we we used it uh, we used it uh, as a, let's say as a as our chosen library. With regard to the to the comparison to to another to another libraries, uh, we have not uh, made a, a benchmark comparison because we were good with the times that we obtained. I mean, if you are ordering it, well, you you will wait a couple of days until it arrives, and if you are producing it in PDF, it will be a, a minute or a couple of minutes until you you have it there. Uh, it's not instant. Uh, I must say, but uh, it's. I think it's enough for for the use case uh, of most of the people. Um, just uh, one one more question. I'm just looking at the the last two that have been added. Um, uh, are there any ideas to continue developing the product? How has been adoption by others? Yes, uh, the, well, in well, the same client is uh, is willing to include more and more services in this uh, in this uh, catalog. Let let's say of maps that is there, but of course provide more more capabilities in terms of uploading info and adapting it uh, and so on uh, will be needed will be needed we could be developed but uh, please consider that this is a uh, for that you if you are a very very interested user you will have your qgis you will have your own your own tools and you will be able to to build it the the use case for for this application is for all that people that uh, really has not that kind of uh, expertise but they do have the the interest to, to have a map to, to go for a weekend. So it can be evolved uh, mainly in the, from my perspective, in the sources that can be used. So for a specific needs, they could have a specific layers because the, that could be useful for a person to choose. But then if we put uh, more and more uh, tools, then we will <laughs> cross that part, uh, that border where we offer maybe too much for the, for the use case but has to be considered in, in any case. Great. Um, well, thank you very much, Enrique. There's uh, clearly a lot of interest in your talk. Um, I apologize that we didn't don't have time to get to all of the questions, but uh, to the people who ask questions, feel free to reach out to Enrique um, on the social uh, uh, channel. You can uh, IM him directly through the application. Um, or look him up on LinkedIn, uh, okay. send him an email. So um, thank you again very much for, uh, for your presentation. And um, 
We're um, we're going to go into a sort of pause mode Thank now. You. I'm going to remove Enrique and much. tee up uh, Liu Bo, our next speaker. Bye. Bye-bye.